Hey guys, such a warmonger here, and you're watching 3 vs 3 Kingdom of Heaven, an attackers vs defender scenario. Over here, spawning on the top right, you've got uh, Le Le Minotaur, playing as the Persians in blue. Myself, such a warmonger, playing as the Saracens in Cyan. And Red Keep, playing as the Persians in green. Over on the defending side, we've got uh, Tactical Doll TMP in gray playing as the uh, Teutons. Um, I think in Chinese this is uh, Age of Empires. In orange playing as the Bulgarians, which defaults to Franks, and 409 in red playing as the Franks. We've got Tactical Doll in our uh, Discord, if you want to say hi. Hello, guys. All right, um, before I switch to the end game, this is the map. Um, you can see the whole map over here. So you have the option to attack from anywhere. And as the attackers were deciding to just swing north of the city. And now I'm gonna switch to end game for the rest of the video. All right. So, um, looks like Red Keep is uh, keeping the right flank. I'm, and uh, the lame Minotaur and I are taking the center. We all have pretty good infantry as the Ayyubids. Um What was your uh, plan, uh, Tactical Doll, to defend? First of all, did you know where we were? Not actually, we haven't scouts when the game starts. So you didn't have enough scouts? Yep. In fact, nobody is really scouting. That might be a mistake. I'm looking around, it looks like... Just focusing on teaching the uh, new players. Baldwin de Ibelin is over here. Age of Empires has his uh, general protecting the... Tower of David. Um, so new players are Age Vampires, uh, Le Lame Minotaur. Just those two. The others have played before. All right. Um, explaining how this uh, game works. Um, the time left starts with forty-five minutes. So basically. Um, the attackers have 45 minutes to try to bring morale of the defenders from 100% down to zero. And the way they do that is by winning fights in battle or uh, capturing points. Now, all of the points can only be captured by infantry, melee infantry, except for this, the Church of the Holy Sepulchre, the Dome of the Rock, and the Syrian Exchange. So these three points can be captured by archers and cavalry. But everything else, like uh, these gates, the Massus Gate, or like the Foster of the Magdalene, or these like towers, uh, can only be captured by melee infantry. So infantry is very important in this uh, fight, and they, they are a little more realistic than what you're used to in Age of Vampires vanilla. Um, let's look at the uh, infantry, that tactical doll. So what was your uh, what was your mix gonna be with the unit composition? I used to get some uh, swordsmen with spikemen and sometimes some Teuton imperial knights. And recently, I'm just doing all only spikemen. I guess. So uh, why do you prefer the pure pikemen? Pikemen have uh, uh, they do have a slower attack of four point two. I mean, if you're using the Although they they were that not good compared to swordsmen, I mean, if you have enough amount, they could really really kill infantry fast, just like Incas. And when you attacking the siege equipments like battering rams, you, you will need that. That's true because that uh, all spearmen do have one range. Now every spearman from every sit from every faction has the exact same stats. They just look different. 
but because of that one range, any siege towers mounted on the walls or battering rams over here can be uh, killed from behind the walls. So that's something to know. Now the order of business for the attackers is um, to secure the uh, siege camp. Because if an attacker loses his supply depot, which are these things, um, not only do they lose 10% morale instantly, they also lose a thousand food instantly. And for every in-game tick, so you see this in-game tick right here, 9, 44, 45, 46. Every in-game tick, they lose one food until the supply depot is redeployed. So it takes a while for the supply wagon to respawn. And then you have to like deploy that supply wagon somewhere for the food to stop going down. Now, did you think about uh, about harassing and taking supply depots out? I would only harass when I'm choosing Frank. If I go to two, because I can use medium knight and those cavalrys, and now using Teutons, I make only go infantry, infantry defense. Oh, these sergeants, I thought there were infantries. Yeah, there were. Some light oh. calves, so I just deploy their, them there. So why way. did you uh, why did you want to go pure infantry in this in this game? Uh, since we have a new new newbie guy, I, oh. we, I think we should use a traditional strategy rather than we just rushing out. Yeah. And we moving to the left side of the city because we noticed some of the civilians were walking outside. So and you didn't know beach. you didn't know where um where we spawn yeah until here just a tip for players um in the very beginning of the game there is a ping as to where what direction the um the attackers spawn from but of course you can always it's always a good idea to send scouting cavalry because light cavalry actually has 20 vision so this guy can like they're actually very good at scouting so light cavalry is a good idea to do and then we got uh, peasant archers. These guys are, um, they fire slower and are less accurate, but they're still pretty good. It's, it's still a good uh, thing to have them. I don't remember if they're cheaper. Do you remember if they're cheaper? I think they only require, require foods, so I just feel the law. Oh, are you using attack ground? It looks like it. By the way, um, every ranged unit has attack ground capability, but they also have uh, minimum range. So arch and they're also pretty low HP, like between thirty and forty. So you want to keep your archers alive by keeping them supported, basically. Looks like four hundred nine is going out with a uh, raid already. He's thinking. Yeah. He's double checking. It's a mix between horse archers, medium and heavy cavalry. So now it's almost 9 p.m. and you can see that the mood is changing, and it's now nighttime. At nighttime, you cannot see your allies, and on top of that, vision is reduced. So nighttime, it's very important to. Uh, it's very important to communicate with your allies. So this is what um, 409 can see. And this is what Tactical Doll can see. So Tactical Doll has a pretty good... Uh, he's spreading his units out along the wall to make sure he has vision. Because he doesn't want to be taken surprise. Is that right? Alright. So Age of Empires, let's see what he's up to. He is mostly... Uh, let's see what his composition is. He has 76 out of 200. So he doesn't have enough units. Not only that, they're all pure archers. So this is not good. When I said the vision is reduced, it's reduced for uh, almost all the units. Um, some of the units that can see at night are generals. 
It looks like we've got uh, we've got an attack from Red Keep at night time. But uh, Tactical Doll PMP uh, ferried his units over to the other side, which is a very good strategy. It's a very good tactic. Sorry. Nice one. So uh, the rest of uh, Tactical Battle PMP's like, um, allies actually don't know what's happening, right? Yeah, we didn't got enough information. Now here comes 409. What is happening. Yeah, here comes 409. He's raiding a few swordsmen. And he's going out to see what's going on here. Red Keep is still attacking. But now he sees that he's being raided. There's a gap over here that uh, Red Keep was not able to seal. 409 must be distracted somewhere else because he's not taking advantage of that gap. He is just destroying the game. But now he finally takes advantage and he's starting to kill a whole lot of villagers. This is very annoying. Killing villagers is actually a very good thing because like attackers have a potential of having 24 villagers out on the map. But if you, but there's like, um, but technically you're only supposed to have 10. So losing anywhere between, you know, only like one or two villagers can be super annoying as an attacker. It's if you're already at the 24 limit. Now Red Keep is trying to fight back against this raid with his own elite cavalry. You got Farouk Shah, the general, fighting. Now these uh, Lancers are killing some of these uh, Horse Archers because Horse Archers do have minimum range, but uh, 409 is actually winning this engagement. And Farouk Shah has been taken down, so uh, I do send some of my um, my own um, units to try to help. Red Keep doesn't have any siege equipment to try to deal with it. And his siege tower is over here. So these men are just kind of hanging out over outside the walls. These walls are very strong. It takes a while to take them down. So now 409 is pulling back wisely since uh, reinforcements have arrived. So from my point of view, my general is with him. And this general has a good line of sight. Aziz Usman. Let him in the tower. As Saladin with him, he's not really doing much. He's not close to full pop and he's just gathering units over here. But we look at the Red Keep side. You can see that Red Keep is uh, finally using his siege towers to have units over, but uh, he's outnumbered by like elite knights, so all these guys are gonna get slaughtered except maybe these medium infantry, the Kasaki. In uh, good numbers, they can hold their own against other medium units, and in choke points, they're very effective. But swordsmen like this will get slaughtered by these knights. Sometimes I wish it was like StarCraft where you could see the number of units each unit killed. That would be entertaining to see who the hero knights are. Red Keep is still trying to push in. He's beginning to even out because you can see the morale like going up and down between the attackers and defenders because the attackers can afford to lose twice as many units as the defenders so defenders can only afford to lose like four units at a time uh, in terms of kill death ratio while attackers can uh, can afford to lose eight units at a time in terms of kill death ratio so i'm not sure what actually is causing 
Maybe it's uh, maybe it's these archers. But these archers seem to be targeting imposter, which is a mistake. But I am uh, sending my battering ram, which uh, tactical doll. I don't I don't know if he noticed or maybe he does. And he's sending villagers. I don't see any villagers headed that way. So this big gate is going to go down soon. Looks like the general has died, which is affecting defender morale pretty badly. Now the defenders are up down to 8, 86% morale. And now Tactical Doll finally noses, and he's trying to take the battering ram out, but uh, too little too late. The Damascus Gate does go down. Now if you look at the resources, Red Keep has used up all of his food and his attack has stalled out. But the 409 does have some archers here, but his swordsmen are not going to attack them, unfortunately. Because these are vulnerable to uh, swordsmen. It's almost done, because uh, nighttime is only from 9 p.m. to 5 a.m. One hour in, in the game is one minute in real life, so. Nighttime is eight hours in game, but only eight minutes in real life and 5 a.m. is coming, so you can see that the mood is changing to dawn. Now, I didn't see what my allies were doing, so I thought I was only starting the attack now, but uh, Red Keep has already used up most of his food. Well, thankfully to, for the attackers, food, an additional 1,500 food is um, added to each attacker. And I actually have not I used up my food enough, so now I'm finally starting to use it. There's actually a waste to, to, to reach the attacker food maximum cap. So you're better off like giving food to your allies once you reach that cap. But now 409's being annoying once again. He's coming around here. Thinking of raiding. The defenders are losing more men now. So if you look at the... Wow, this is kind of cool. If you look at the uh, the morale ratio, the defenders are losing more men than they should. So their morale is going down little by little. And I wonder what's causing that. Now, swordsmen cannot stop these knights. These swordsmen will get slaughtered. If you need, like, not only spearmen, but like a lot of spearmen to counter these knights. So it looks like uh, I did send some units down here to capture the postern of St. Ladre. I'm trying to widen the front. But the defenders are coming back to try to take the Damascus Gate back. Now I'm using my archers to counter enemy archers, if I can. Now, one reason you would want to take towers down, even though you could capture them, is obviously is to like lower enemy morale. But also, um, they can be captured back by the defenders. So if you take them down, defenders can't capture them back. But also, like if there are no defensive um, placements, that means your archers can freely attack units instead of. Uh, instead of like towers when you leave them alone but 409 was able to do a really good raid against uh, red keeps whoa against red keeps uh supply depot you can see his food is at zero so that that really hampered red keeps uh reinforcement line so if we look at uh, red keeps population he's at 86 and he, there's no he's not going to be able to replenish it anytime soon also, since he's at zero, he's actually giving the defenders mor uh, morale and um, losing morale for the attackers. So, slowly, as long as uh, one player, uh, each player that's starving will actually make the morale go lower for the attackers little by little. So you can see the defenders are starting to gain some morale just because the attackers are uh, are starving. Now the wagon has finally respawned and uh, Red Keep needs to find a place to deploy it. So 
we've got a little horse archer battle going with these light horse archers These light horse archers should target the enemy Turkopol horse archers, but uh, they're focused on attacking these knights, which are pretty good at blocking shots. Because they can each, like, block three range attacks if they're, like, these heavy knights. And now they're, they have minimum range and they're gonna get slaughtered. They should pull back. The defenders have um, stabilized. And they've kicked the, the attackers outside of the city. But uh, we're still um, trying to use our 45 range to just take these towers down so that I could like use, or the attackers can use the like, archers to just mow down the enemy units. Because it's still technically possible to win just by fighting in this. So if you look at the uh, point of view of the defenders, Is what they see. Now here comes another attack from Lane Minotaur. Now uh, 409 is really disrupting Red Keep, who is only who only now has rebuilt his supply depot. It's funny because he just got here and Red Keep is back. Uh, 409 is back to harass. And he's killing a lot of horse archers, which is actually should give the defenders a little more morale as well. He's killing villagers that are trying to rebuild. This is a very effective uh, raid from 409. And here I come to try to help Red Keep push these knights out. But that's a very good distraction from uh, 409. The defenders are doing a fairly good job of uh, keeping their resources up if we look at the uh, age vampires he's finally up to 143 population You can see this, I'm targeting these uh, archers with my own archers. And now another tower goes down. One more tower and these archers will have free reign to attack any of these guys. Lay Minotaur should pull up these uh, expensive cavalry out of here. They're gonna get slaughtered by pikemen or spearmen. Not only that, it looks like there's uh, all the, the peasants tearing their armor out. So now they can kill, be killed very easily. So that's the thing about these peasants. They're cheap and they only have two attack, but they do tear armor away. They are weaker than your average swordsman though. Lower HP. So you have to be careful using peasants when you're fighting.
Now, attack ground is very effective at um, uh, covering an area because uh, range units are not like 100% accurate. And any missed shots will affect their target, whether they're friendly or the enemy. So you can kill your own units by accident or your allies. You have to be careful with that. Now here comes 409 with another raid. Being super annoying. Super effective though. Defenders are down to almost half morale though, so you have to be careful with that. He's pulling back wisely. This is not a good angle for Red Keep. Although he does have medium infantry right in the front, which is good. But there are some uh, peasants in this area. I'm trying to help Red Keep by attack grounding right behind him. So you can see I'm trying to attack ground behind this area and hit kill units over here. Seems to be effective. Now I do notice a lot of horse archers here that I'm not starting to target fire. And I do smell blood. Uh, we are starting to get a very good kill death ratio. We're bringing down defender morale pretty badly. Now let's take a look. Orange is out of men. Tactical doll still has a good amount of men left. But this is the power of destroying all the towers. There's no more... These archers will not automatically attack the towers now. They'll just automatically attack the enemy units. And even though these knights can block shots and they're very strong, once they're down, once they block three shots, they're vulnerable to arrow fire. Now this guy lost all his armor, so look how quickly he dies, even though he should be a stronger unit. And now we're pushing in. We've got it, my siege towers coming in to try to help support. Now I can sense that his knights are vulnerable. I have a lot of Kasaki warriors here, which are very good at killing knights. Oh my god, look at all the gore in this choke point. Now, Lemony Minotaur trying to come in through this gap. I don't know where he's going though. What's he doing? Just passing. Literally just passing. He must be on no attack stance or something. That's, that's unfortunate. He is drawing the knights away from the main battle though. So at least that's something. Tactical Doll trying his best. Eight villagers repairing Possum of the Magdalene. The defenders are out of food though. Lost too many units for no gain. I think they should fall back. Fight another day. Just keep men here maybe and here seal off these two choke points and here so that if they want to hit the syrian exchange they have to go deeper but they should uh i, I do believe they should stop trying to defend this area because they're gonna lose more and more and more units all 
All right, this is ours now, but I, I opt to like, continue sieging it because uh, trebuchets have attack ground that does work. But now, piecemeal units are coming from Age Vampires. And that's gonna make Defender Morale go down even lower. It, every time they lose three units at a time, that's 1% morale lost. Which is happening right now. So, uh, Age of Empires, not understanding the whole morale system here, is sending men off piecemeal to die. Which is lowering the morale further. Not only that, I'm attacking, damaging two morale at a time by capturing these points. That's another 2% morale gone. Now there is a battle here which uh, which could gain some morale for the uh, defenders. Now peasants are not the best unit to fight low armored units like uh, swordsmen and spearmen, but they are good against like high armored units like Kasaki or sergeants or like knights. They have anything with higher or even like mounted knights, they can tear down a lot of armor from those uh, units. Now, another 5% morale was taken down because of the Gate of Jehoshaphat going down. Now the defenders are in big trouble with such low morale. At this point, they should abandon this area. Oh, I finally take down the poster of the Magdalene, which is another 3% morale down. They should abandon this front uh, and hold the sepulcher. I have a group of elite Akutaki here just slaughtering low, um, low armored swordsmen, low attack swordsmen. These Kasakis can do a really good job. Now it's nighttime, unfortunately. There's not enough men here to cap to recapture the gate of Jehoshaphat. They're hoping maybe maybe this many men. But they at first they have to fight the Kazaki. 409. Thinking about defending over here. Let's just remember that it's nighttime. We have an engagement over here. The knights are gaining some morale, hopefully. Oh no, TMP is falling back. Now these knights should kill these Kasaki, which is why I pulled them back to the gate. To maybe let my towers shoot the knights. Which they are trying to shoot the knights. There was a secret attack on this side though. That's 3% morale destroyed if I'm able to take this gate down. Now, the defenders are gaining some uh, some morale back by killing the men I had over here. So they're back up to 6. But it's going to be down to 2% once this gate goes down. Now it is 2%. Now with this engagement with swordsmen against spearmen, it might go down. Uh, this could be the end of it. If these sort of just fight back and get a good engagement. This could be it. And that's it. Alright. Okay, so. As new players. There was a problem with, uh, with unit management and food management. The defenders did a fairly good job. They lasted with uh, only eight, 11 minutes left. Let's take a look at the statistics. Tactical Doll had a very... Not a very bad KD ratio. But like, not a good one, though. Um, Age Vampires actually had a pretty good... Even KD. And 409 had a positive KD, probably from all his rating. So this could be a product of uh, having too many peasants mixed in. 
Um, peasants should be a supplementary force uh, unit and not like a main li front line unit. And should be uh, reserved to, to fight together with other units against um, high armor targets. They're kind of wasted when they're fighting um, weaker units like swordsmen and spearmen. Because they already have low armor anyway. Anyway, hopefully you found that uh, entertaining. See you in the next video.